dirt, delusion, intention, reach, and timing. Do you need to spend ad money to grow your personal brand? I don't think so. I grew my YouTube channel from zero to 9,000 subscribers in three weeks with nothing in my pocket. Let alone, I actually made money instead of spending it on ads. So today we're gonna talk about just that. I'm watching. I need you. So I know what you might be thinking. Jade, you're 16 years old, what the f do you know about digital marketing? So you guys know, on this channel, I post a lot of content about how to grow, tactical advice, how to's, tips, just really, really one-on-one -on -one topics and just tutorials. But today's video is going to be all about the mindset because I know some of you are eye rolling, it's just as important. This is going to be a two-part series. If you wanna see the rest, keep on watching. So yeah, guys, we hit 9,000 subscribers this morning and I'm just as confused as you are on how it grew so fast. But I have somewhat of an idea how I did it. So this is gonna be all about the mindset and my story. But guys, I am 16, I don't know everything, but I really wanna emphasize more on the journey because I've been just so tactical. I did make my first big milestone, at least in my eyes, in regards to income from YouTube and personal branding. So I'll share more about that. So I'm here with my mom. Hi. Hi. I hang out with my mom a lot, to be honest. This is a very honest video. All right, so we're going to get some ice cream. It's a beautiful day. As we're going, I have three main tips slash hacks for people doing YouTube. Most people have a 70% marketing problem and like a 30% content. Like their content is great, but their marketing just sucks ass. So this video is for people who don't have the content down. And before you try to market a video, you need to have good content. Good content will carry you through. I know that's like rah rah, like have good posts, but it's 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 um it's important. Acronyms are way easier to remember, and you guys seem to like my funny acronyms. Oh my god, it's bright. Dirt, delusion, intention, reach, and timing. When I mean delusion, I mean more of like a obsessive trait or personality that you have. So delusion can become in many forms for me. It's not a bad way, it's just like, how can you stand out? Delusion is just another word for what makes you set apart from everyone else, what makes you different, what are you obsessed with? So for me, at the time I had a video called How to Grow on Instagram in 2018 and I was obsessed with talking about my new idea on how to grow on Instagram. Like this video is just to say like my honest opinions on like how I grew in addition to all the tactical stuff which is SEO keywords. After you have your delusional personality or thing that sets you apart, I think the best thing is intention. So you have to really, I have a strong intention. Like my intention was to create a video, not to sell anything, but just to have people in my mailing list. Like that was it. So what happened was I actually owned my traffic because I converted all the listeners and watchers into a mailing list, which was direct to consumer relationship. I just I was so intentional. Like I knew what I wanted to say at the end and I basically sold people really easily just because I knew what I wanted to create. Then R, you have to have really good reach. So I went really narrow instead of wide. So I was really targeted towards people who smelled the BS already on Instagram. And that's what made me, again, stand out. And being narrow means you also have to, you're gonna piss off a lot of people as well um, because you're just going so niche based. But because I was niche based, I stood out. We just had ice cream at my favorite place, Salt and Straw. It's so good. It was like this mochi, fluffy, cherry, chocolate, vanilla, buttery ice cream. Now, my favorite thing ever is something called timing. Hey mom, how long have I been doing YouTube? Uh, no, almost eight years, yeah. <laughs> almost eight Seven and a half years. years. I was doing YouTube when no one thought it was cool. It was just really weird. I did well though. Like I grew an audience, but I didn't keep going with, through it just because I didn't know. Because a lot of you guys just want to do be a YouTuber just to be a YouTuber. The only reason someone will pay attention to a product that you're creating, which is you know a video, is if it's valuable to them, whether it's entertainment or it's educational. I would gain traction, but I couldn't convert anything into subscribers. I was like, mom, what's happening? So I quit many times, and no one seems to talk about the fact that I had four, three failed channels, six and a half years of making content on YouTube, and no one listens. And the amount of comments I get that are like, Jake, you're her channel in like three weeks, this is not fair. And I don't talk about that that much, just because it was like in the past, but I just wanna make it clear, like, guys, dirt, if you follow dirt, it should take you to your goal. My goal, honestly, was never to hit you know a thousand ten thousand subscribers now I feel like people measure the wrong thing people measure how many likes they get how many subscribers but they really don't measure 
their return on investment. People think about the revenue, they don't think about profit. Most people think about likes and followers. I think about how many people am I actually helping. Most people think about how to create the best video, but they forget how to market or vice versa. So I skirt, skirt back home. You can call me lucky, you can call me blessed, but timing is everything and everything happens for a reason. I don't like making these videos for the reason that it sounds super cheesy. But this is important, guys. You can be working for five years and nothing happens, but by in one week, you blow up. In the second part, I'll actually go over the data and you know analytics side of marketing and how I grew this channel. I did make some money this past week, more than I've ever made. This is more, this part's more of my self-development and for me to look back on. If you don't wanna hear this, then you can leave. So I made my first 1K. I really don't like making these type of videos, and I don't plan to do anything stupid with this money. I was this close to buy the iPhone X, but got to save up and I'm ready to invest it into my actual business. And yeah, and if you guys are curious, it wasn't YouTube AdSense. YouTube AdSense pays for like not a lot, maybe like 30%. Most of it was for my coaching and getting some of you guys to hop on my mentorship programs, which is absolutely insane that you guys trust me and I'm really flattered. So that's where I got my, actually we're over, we're over 1K right now. Um, in profit, so I mean, it's most I've ever ever made in my life, guys. Most of my money's actually through my family's marketing agency, but this is like my own shit. Like this is me going out there and getting my own business and profit. So leave a video, leave this video a like, and congratulations to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, comment below. Your goal for 2018 in regards to growing your account. Do you want to hit 10,000 subscribers, 1,000, 400 followers? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, make sure you like, subscribe, and check out part two. It'll be linked right here or in the description box. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye. What's up, guys? Thank you so much for watching. Hold up. If you could do me a huge favor, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button to turn on my post notifications. That would mean the world to me and I really appreciate it. Mwah.